Hey, you're watching Daily Rat Facts. If you call yourself a Playboy Cardi fan, here are 11 interesting facts you might not know about Playboy Cardi. Before we begin, if you're a true Cardi fan, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our weekly videos. Let's get into it. Number 11. Playboy Cardi's first rap name was Sir Cartier. In 2011, he released music under the name Sir Cartier. Much of his early work has been deleted from the internet. Number 10. Playboy Cardi released his first mixtape, Young Misfit, under Sir Cartier in 2012. He was just 16. The mixtape had 9 songs, including a couple skits. Number 9. Playboy Cardi made his first song, Cry, on GarageBand. He was a member of the art collective Awful Records, where most of his earliest work were produced by Atlanta producer Ethereal, who helped him start a following. Number 8. Playboy Cardi signed his record deal before he released an official full-length mixtape or an album. He signed to ASAP Rocky's OG record label and Interscope Records. Playboy Cardi and ASAP Rocky met at a house party during South by Southwest. This nigga Playboy Cardi, man, it's a good time for this nigga. Just got signed to Interscope and shit, he about to fuck shit up. Shout out to Playboy Cardi and this bitch, man. Number 7. Playboy Cardi was born in Atlanta. He grew up in Riverdale, Georgia and went to North Springs Charter High School in Sandy Springs, which former alumni T.I. and Sierra also attended. He would skip his high school classes regularly to work on his music or work his job at H&M. I just wanna fuck bitches. I'm gonna get a job. Yo, dog, I ain't going to college. I was gonna support the world shit. Hey, yo, you know I could have never got a job in Atlanta ever in my life, dude. Nigga, I was back in grocery. I was trying to get a job in Texas. Fuck no, so working at this place called H&M, but look, in Atlanta, that's when it first popped off, I was the hottest nigga at that Fire. shit because I was Man. still in school, Man. Look, I'm still in school working at H&M, but anyway, I'm like this. I picked up some Xanax before I came I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, I don't want to work here no more. Niggas coming to the job, princess. Look, like this. Like, yo, you Cardi? Yeah, bro, that song you got fired as fuck. How long you been working here? That shit don't sound right, bro. I'm like, Number 6. Playboy Cardi used to play ball growing up. He started playing basketball when he was a kid and wanted to make it to the NBA. Cardi was playing point guard in high school. He quit basketball after he got in a fight with his high school coach. He idolized Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, and Michael Jordan. Ball was life for Cardi. Now music is. I love Japanese food, baby. I be on some other shit, man. Number 5. Playboy Cardi's influences are Gucci Mane, Lil Wayne, and Shoddy Low. He grew up listening to all of his influences and Young Jeezy, Lil John, Currency, Michael Jackson, and Prince. Number 4. Playboy Cardi has worked with Frank Ocean. They have an unreleased song together. As a big Frank Ocean fan, he plays Frank Ocean's music when girls come over to impress them. He likes to play the second part of Frank's song, Nights. Number 3. Playboy Cardi doesn't want any face tattoos. He wants to act and model, so he wants to keep his face clean for the future. Number 2. Playboy Cardi shopped in thrift stores in his youth, something that has had an effect on his fashion and music style. That brings us to number 1. Playboy Cardi plans on starting his own fashion brand in the future. Right now he's focused on music, but when he starts his brand, he wants to really focus on it. Some of his favorite brands are Raph Simmons and Balmain. He considers Kanye West to be his fashion inspiration. Thanks for watching. Those are 11 facts about Playboy Cardi. Did any of these facts surprise you? Comment below your favorite Playboy Cardi song and subscribe for more facts on your favorite rappers. Don't forget to share.